Hello, hello, Marnie here, and welcome back to Geneforge 2 Infestation. Picking up here at the Dry Peak Gates that we just uh, popped into after spending pretty much all of the last episode in the Dry Peak Mine somehow for like an hour and a half. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a long one, that's, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, we cleared the mine, which is good, which uh, covered... Well, the Fetch Iron Bar is going to be a continuous one, but we did save those serviles, the three of them, so... That is covered, and uh, now we're popped over here to slay three rogues, which, uh, yeah, and I'm assuming there's also the, the salt we'd want to mention at the end of the last one. Um, you can find a grove to the northwest, so, I'm get oh yeah, I showed that last time, didn't I? Whoops, that's south. <laughs> I mean, I was, I'm assuming it's going to be like up here, maybe, like it might connect off here. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, some areas you can kind of get through pretty quick. Others like the mine, there's a lot more to it. Um, but yeah, I think we'll kind of just continue straight from here. I don't think we need to go back to town or anything. Um, inventory is like clear, relatively speaking. Um, we just got the new artiller, which will be nice. Um, our control is mixed, but we improved it a bit. Fiora is down to weak at six. The artiller is poor at eight. That unfortunately still very poor, but Overall, not too bad. You know, we increased our level. We got some more mechanics and leadership. Got one into battle shaping. And yeah, just the new addition to the team, which will be good. Um, I do have Seer now, Sierra, which does poison and helps a lot. Uh, but yeah, they have poison spray, which is also, that's a cone, which is very nice. And obviously the less I need to use that, although it is a good attack, it, it does better damage than fire. Uh, but the more I don't need to use that, the more I can use heals and buffs, which uh, was another thing we got last time. We got War Blessing, which will be really nice. Um, and yeah. Oh, there is one thing, actually, I want to check before we go. Because I, I looked at the Steam forums for something. I don't remember what it was now. But there was reference to someone, there was a thread that it was just titled like Scout Zora or something. And since I'd already cleared this area, I clicked into it just out of curiosity because I figured it wouldn't spoil anything. And it referenced her actually like, you know how there was that option to have her come with us? It seems like that is an actual thing. But she didn't want to come with us. Because um, they referenced her actually coming with the uh, party outside of this area and going to other places. And that would be very helpful. But, um... Yeah, so I thought we'd just come chat with her and see. Because I... I don't know what's up with that. She didn't want to come with us. But we'll see. So, I mean, let's get the status. I know Zachary sent someone back here to tell me. I'm supposed to escort you around if you'd allow it. And the roads aren't being extra active. I wonder if saying, like, I don't need that sort of help. She's like, actually, I need to or something. Well, let's see. I'll do that one. I can use your help. Please show me around. Yeah, so that doesn't get it. What if I say no? I don't need that sort of help. Zora looks relieved. I didn't think you would. Oh. That's weird then. What makes the difference? How did someone have her actually come with them? That's really curious. Because, yeah, the thread was like someone asking if she was meant to follow outside of the mine. Kind of implying she did come with them in the mine, but then also was going to go out to other areas, so... I wonder what makes the difference there. Hmm. I, I can't think of anything. I guess the only thing... Maybe if your leadership's high enough, maybe? Because it does say helps you... Oh, I didn't actually pay attention to that part till now. Increase the number of options in conversation. Helps you convince characters to aid you. That's rather specific. Oh. I wonder if we get our next level up this and then talk to her again. Hmm. That would be interesting. But we may cover the areas she would help us in by the time that happens, I'm not sure. But yes, I just wanted to check that. We will head back here. And uh, continue on. Yeah, there are some other spells we can get at the Warren. Um, the problem was we needed higher mental magic and I think... 
blessing magic or something. Which I, don't, I want her up, but it's just... You get 10 points, but there's so many things. And I feel like our priorities... Like, leadership actually seems more important now. Brings them more in control, gives us options. And that could be really good. Mechanics also just... I mean, we've already seen just how many places there are that need uh, living tools. But obviously, we also want to be buffing up them, but... Yeah. I don't know, we'll have to... <laughs> I have to figure it out. It's fine, probably. We'll see. We have quick save, it's all good. This flat, dry, expansive land is where dry peat grows enough crops to, sa sa to sustain its po small population. Oof, good start to a uh, reading. Let me, let me sip a drink. They have had a small amount of success, very small. The dry farming they practice is enough to keep people barely alive, but and never actually happy. Some of the earth is actually dark and moist. There may be a small natural spring here, just enough to nourish some mildly shaped crop varieties. Alas, right now, they aren't even doing that. Because of the rogue attacks, there are no serviles working out in the fields. The crops have been left to live or die on their own. Right now, they are choosing to die. That's, uh... That's not good. I guess I should talk to you, Zora clone. What is your name? Del, huh? We shall speak soon. Storage bin, huh? Oh, 10 XP. Nice. Hello, value. How are you? Oh. What have we got? Oh, healing pod. Yes, please. Bars of iron. I'll take it. Oh, right. Go check those. Oh, ho, ho, value. Oh, I will take all of the bag of meals. Yes, yes, I will. Hmm. One require, I guess. Oh, hello. How are you? Uh, only a shape. I can't quite. There is something in the doorway, right? I can't. Erm. Um, oh, that didn't quite. Wait, is the what? What is an enemy here? Am I? I'm so confused. Uh. I don't. I don't. Oh, it's right. Oh my god, my eyes. How did I not see that? That works. Uh, can I get a little fireball in there? That's good. Oh, you're in an awkward spot. Oh, well that works. Oh, they're involved. Okay, we good. That was, uh, not ideal. Oh, we've got our tool back, so that works. Not a lot in this one, huh? Didn't cost us technically, though, so... We'll call it a win. Yeah, I need, I need to make sure I use that, actually. It does highlight the things you can loot. That's helpful. I might rebind that or something, because it's tab. I feel like it's nice with alt, because you can, like, press, uh, use your thumb, like, when you got... You know, my fingers are on AWD most of the time, but I can hit Alt, so. Hello. What might you be doing here? <sighs> Level one. More like XP. Yep. Creative. Thank you. Oh, hi. What might you be doing here? Don't think I can get an attack in. Can you just go around? Can you maybe? No. So you can walk them up like down to they have one, uh, one AP, which is nice. Oh, see that poison? So good. Like such a good addition to the team considering adding the artillery only knocked them back one each on the, um, the control level. So that is so good. Uh, can you get there? Not ideal. 
I'm seeing someone. Yep, there's someone else. What do you got going on? Eh, not too bad. Oh, good job, Attila. Nice. Oh, you got haste as well, don't you? Oh, aren't you great? Oh yeah, I'm quick saving between battles. I know how to do things. Oh, hello, Wrath. Do you want to get involved? I, you see Wrath, I see XP. All them scuttle bugs again. Yeah, we ain't that strong, but our team's good. Hello. I think we'll worry about this guy first. Smack. Nice. Oh, delicious XP. Well, that was a mild inconvenience. That went well. But also, yeah, there's definitely rogues around, huh? It'll been pretty chill until then. I also may or may not have forgot about this NPC that I was going to talk to. It's a, it's a slight distinct possibility. Nothing to worry about. Now we'll speak in a moment, but I see a chest and that, uh, uh, no, trowels. I guess they are useful sometimes. I just need to borrow like all of this. Well, when my junk bag's full anyway. Now I need to borrow anything here. Where are your things of value? What about in here? Oh, hello, value. We will scrape and scrape. <laughs> we'll get anything we can. What's up? For all of the difficulties Dry Peak has had lately, you are surprised that Dry Peak Gate is guarded only by one woman and a trio of turrets. She is well armed and seems competent to be sure, but still. She gives you a respectful nod when you approach. Greetings, Shaper. I am Gardell. Be careful out there. She waves her hand out towards the wasteland of the west. It's not safe. She stares at you oddly. I'm sorry, Shaper, but you are Mana? I have a message for you. Okay. Are you the only guard here? Not quite. We are only just outside Dry Peak. One shout now of support and moments, but I doubt I'll have to do that. Why don't you think you have to call for help? Because the rogues don't ever come near here. Close enough to spy on us, yes, but not to threaten. I keep a constant careful watch. Don't doubt that. The Fioras and Thards are simple creatures, but they know to stay well away from the city gates. And what are you doing for food, by the way? Relying on reserves. I, I hope it wasn't the meal down here. I, I, I may have borrowed them. <laughs> Relying on reserves. We're lucky you returned when you did. Not like we can't eat Fioras. Oh, not like we can eat Fioras. That, that brought up some interesting questions. Not like we can eat Fioras. It is against Shaper Law to eat any shaped animals that aren't designated livestock, like Orcs. Oh, right, because there are Orcs, huh? I guess it's not that weird. Hmm. Yes, Shaper? As Del talks to you, the see you see that she is keeping a constant watch to the west. She stares at you oddly. I'm sorry, Shaper, but you are Mana? I have... But are you Mana? I have a message for you. We'll get to that in a minute, buddy. What can you tell me about Sarah? It was farmland. She shakes her head. Not good farmland. Terrible, but it was ours, and the rogues started hunting and picking off our serviles, so we pulled them all back into the city. Tell me more about the rogues. She points to the southwest. Most of them come out of the woods out there. They come out, wander around, and duck back in. Be careful if you head out to the west. You'll run into the patrols before long. We we've met. What sort of creatures are out there? Just fjords and thirds from what I've seen. Nothing to a shaper such as yourself, of course, but more than capable of eating a servile. It, yeah. What would I have to do to pass through this area easily? Well, finding the source of the rogues would be ideal, of course. But cleaning out the rogues in the woods close to here would be a good start. She points at the thorny twisted trees to the southwest. Those are strange trees. Yes, thorny. Hard to cut down. Doesn't burn well. The wood is too full of knots to be good for building. Yet, they grow and spread fast. They're a plague. Where do they come from? You shapers created them in my grandfather's time. I was told that they were an experiment, but they escaped from your labs. I, I'm sure you have a good reason to make them. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, did we... What? Oh no, we went through them all. Okay. thought there was uh, something there. 
Oh no, all good. Could you help me hunt some rogue? Let's see the message. A message? From who? An agent. She said her name was Shanti. She came out of the gate to explore a bit and she talked to me. She said if you followed after, I should tell you something. Okay. What did you think of her? Not my place to judge an agent, but she was very friendly to me. Listen to my talk. Very down to earth? For your kind, I mean. Uh, where did she go? West. She said she would loop around and return to Dry Peak from the south. Said I wouldn't see her again, and I haven't. And what was the message? Scout Dell smiles. An odd one, she said. You have learned a lot. You are ready to explore. Good fortune to you. Or something like that. Seemed an odd message to leave. That's why I could remember it, I guess. Okay, you have learned a lot. You are ready to explore. Good fortune. I mean, she already kind of... Is there something about that? I don't know. Because, I mean, she already kind of set us off to, like, explore and, you know, she kind of gave us the responsibility of looking around because we'd be followed less and stuff like that than her. Hmm. I well, suppose it could just be, like, a friendly thing because she's out and about or something. I guess she's not back at that place then at the moment? Hmm. Okay, we'll get to the asking her that in a second. I'll just, we'll do a quick save and just check. Oh yeah, Shandy's still here. I wonder if anything's updated. I'm kind of guessing not, but let's just take a quick look. Uh, any more training skills? Have you been able to sneak out and do any investigating? Only a little. Zachary has offered to give me an escort of guards whenever I go anywhere. The offer is not optional, it appears. I'll need to watch for opportunities to slip out. Why don't you just command the guards to leave you alone? Shiny smiles and shakes her head. Time for more learning, apprentice. In theory, I have a great authority here. In practice, we are far from home. We are not alone. This area is dangerous and full of rogues. If Zachary were to feel threatened by us, it would be very easy to have us have an unfortunate accident. Remember that. There is law, and then there are the ways law actually functions. Yeah, we've uh, we have heard that before, and that's a fair point. Hmm. I'll investigate the region. Good. If you find anything useful, report back to me. I will make my own discreet inquiries. Okay, let's see how our leadership abilities are faring. Could you help me hunt some rogues? I'm sorry, Shaper. I long to help you, but my orders are clear. I have to watch the gate. Still, a Shaper should have no trouble with Fioras and Thards. Her respect for you is pleasing. Commons, even those who spend lots of time on Shapers, tend to regard your kind with awe. Which is how it should be. Well, do you have any supplies you can spare? Del is reluctant, but you are very convincing. Also, you are a Shaper after all. You talk her into supplying you with some thorns and an ice crystal. Oh, thank you. 70 XP? Oh. Oh, good times. Good times. But, uh, I don't know. Because like, that could be one of them ones where, like, no matter what it is, she wouldn't actually come with us because she has this specific duty. But, Scout Zora, I'm, I'm so curious. And, uh, we are getting there. Like, we've, we've got a lot more XP than I expected. Like, it's only 700 more. And it started with 1400, like... We, we've gained that surprisingly fast. But, uh, yeah, onwards we go. I'm, I'm liking our team. I feel like it's good. Probably going to die shortly, but, you know, it's fine. Ish. Spore works closed. Uh, I'm so mixed on those because I feel like one more level we can come back and it's going to be easier, so... Hmm. Is it worth two? Maybe. You do also sometimes run to those doors you find other ways to get to, so... Probably not that one, but... Uh... Okay, just a weak one. I should have checked. There's probably others near here. Hello? Oh, hi. How are you? Alright, I can get to the... Oh. You enter a forest of the twisted, wiry trees that, are, that infest a large part of this area. This trees are one of the few life forms that Shaper's made out here that can live on its own. Unfortunately, it turned out to be a weed, only good for driving out useful species. There are gnawed bones on the ground, and growls and hisses emerge from the thicket. These woods are infested with rogues. A brave and determined Shaper would immediately walk in, determined to instantly destroy the rebellious action creations. How brave and determined you are is, of course, up to you. I mean, it's XP, buddy. I am all about that XP. That's like my that's like, that's my everything. <laughs> Apparently. Okay. Oh my. Okay, we, we've got a few to deal with, I'm, I'm realizing. Please tell me you're all level one. Okay. That's good. 
Let's get rid of you. Uh, you cannot get far enough, can you? Dang. All right, you got to hopefully tank something. Okay, mm this is a this is a situation. Oy. Yeah, I need to step back. Let's get some poison going there. Uh, we can get a double hit here. Oh, it's gonna. Let's not do that. This thing, when I played Gene Forge One, I didn't have to worry about uh, friendly fire. The big concern now. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, take those misses. Yes. Come on. Oh, haste. Yes. Poison? Ah. Hmm. Maybe we smack you. I think I'll get caught in there. Yeah, smack you. Oh, dazed. Beautiful. Beautiful. So good. Loving this team. Let's go for some Sierra. We need to... We need to do some damage. Okay, so if I walk to there... Oh, it's still got... Okay. Let's still I can do that. Ooh. Okay, I really don't want to lose this fight now. It's going well. What do you got left? 31... A bit worried about Attila. Uh, yeah, go for that. Okay. Yeah, you got 20 health. That's not terrible. Oh, I should use War Blessing. Didn't even think. We're alright, though. Nice. And I heard coins. I definitely heard coins. Did we just get them? Okay, a couple of things. What else you got? Coins. Uh, they're a little... Hello? And where did you come from? Okay. I do like XP. I believe we've established this. Oh, loving the quick saves. Hello. Ah, oh, the XP just keeps walking in. Beautiful. Thank you. We'll be leveled up in no time. Very good. Um, we could use a heal though, huh? Uh, hello? How many of there are you? How many of you are there? What did I just say? XP, either way. All good. Um... Yeah. Might want to heal. Oh my, hello. You seem to be gaining numbers. Um... That's more blessing. Yeah. Now, if you go... Okay, let me read that again. Because I don't know if the amount of action points you have uses all action points. Okay. So if I walk you to there... Oh, that's so close to me and I hit three of them. Oh, that's super awkward. Though. Oh, I can go there. It doesn't hit that, right? Is that... I think. Ah, it's so close to me to get... Ah. Wait, that? Does that hit all three? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's the good stuff right there. That is great. Uh, yeah, go for that. Oosh. Attila, my boy. I'm gonna go for here. Yeah, I'm healing. Yeah. Take you down. Ooh. You're dangerous. Oh, I love the haste. Can I... Yeah. Ooh, okay. 
cat. Oh, are we good? Sierra? More poison? Oh, come on. Can we, like... Okay, we can't exit combat. Uh, I want to go heal. This is awkward. I mean, can I hit you from there? Nope. Mm. I feel like we just got to... Yeah. I feel like we just got to skip and let them come to us. Except for that one. Because if he... I wanted to kind of like... Also, damn, we're doing really well with the uh, lack of terrified or anything. Um, but yeah, I thought if we like charged with him up there, they could all hit him. So it's kind of a... Yeah. It's a bit of a rough balance here. There is way more of them than I would have thought, though. I think, well, it's fine. Ish. I'm just gonna move up more. It's fine. Move up a little. Oh, you dead. Ah, oh, poison. So good. Any more? Can I hit you? Nope. You can. Ugh, overload's not ideal. Oh no. Don't you be charmed, you little shit. I'm walking this way. I wanna, eh, eh. oh, that's so awkward. We're literally in combat because he's charmed. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Just get far away. Oh, Attila. Are we good? We good. Ah. Oh. Everyone survived. Good job, team. We are going to heal. I may or may not have went all the way to the essence pools and stuff in the Warren before remembering you just go back to like town to heal. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Apparently I'm still remembering things. I mean, June Forge was a while ago, like the first one. Either way, it's fine. Bag of meal, bag of small amount of money. Anything with value, I will take. Oh my, what the hell are you... Why are you doing that? What is... Broken Fang, you have a name? What's he going on here? Wait, how much health do you have? Oh my, 162. Oh, why did I pick a fight with you? That was a terrible idea. Yeah, that seems about right. Ooh. I don't think that's a good idea at all. I mean, he can still poison you, right? Okay. That's good. A bit worried about you. Okay. Oh, stun would be really helpful. Nice. That's helpful. Um, war blessing maybe? Hmm. I think we'll just go with that. Go to you. I, mean, I think we might be okay, but... Dodd's a little rough. Hmm, let's go with a heal. We do less damage than them, so... Oh, shit. Misclicked. Oof. Uh, how much health do you got left? 29. Let's 
so let's heal you. Oh, oh, you got haste, yes. How much XP is this thing in here? Oh, you're terrified. Oh. Oh, I missed it. What was that? It looked like 176, but I doubt that was the case. I got 500 to go. Uh, 76, maybe? Ah. Apparently it was only 26. That's, uh... <laughs> A lot less than my imagination came up with. That's unfortunate. But, uh, I'll be back in just a second, because I'm going to heal. It is very convenient just being able to leave and come back, huh? Right. There is, there is a surprising amount of rogues here, like way more than I would have expected. Hello? Oh, hello. Go on. Good job. Oh, <laughs> hello again. Uh, can't hit you. Oh, dang. Let's go with the zero. Good. Mm, can you hit that one? Nice. Oh yeah, stun bash. Love that. Oh crap, wrong button. I was trying to default myself. I, I could have swore there was a way to like default yourself to the fireball, but I, I may be mistaken. What? You can't... Oh, I've only got 3 AP. Ah. You're good. Oh, that was hastened. Right. Go. Boom. Yeah. I don't remember to actually click that. Ah. Oh. No, do not. Ah. Yep. All according to plan. Yep. Definitely not lying. You find the burned remains of a server. This unfortunate was hunted and trapped by a fu rogue Fiora. Oddly, the servile was armed. He had a sword in one hand and a baton in the other when he died. This is very strange. Why would a servile be armed? Hmm. That is suspicious. Um, that makes me wonder about, like, are they sending serviles out here to deal with the rogues? Hmm. What's, uh, what's this lead to? Yep, uh, like I said, I mean, the end of the last one, I think I pointed down here, but earlier, yeah. Charon's Grove, get soul weed, okay. Cool. Oh, where do you go? The crags. Oh, right, the slate, oh! Oh, we slayed one of the rogues, I assume. <laughs> Didn't even click with me. One is an artillery with a broken fang. Right. Oh, yeah, t t all clear to plan. Yeah. Definitely not lying again. Yeah. Okay. Progress. No worries. But yeah, we're only like 450 XP off leveling up. Hell yeah. Like, it seems like a lot, but man, it, it does add up. Oh, hello. That looks suspicious, but I think it's fine. God, I... Thard will get like... At a certain point, gonna be useless having a Thard compared to the later ones, but like... I love the combo of having that like jump one. Uh, and the stun bash, like, they're so good. Oh, I tried again. Whoops. Ooh. I should really make sure I check the... the numbers. Because <laughs> if that was, like, a level 3 one, that would have hurt. You have depleted the horde of rogues hiding in the thicket. The area is entirely safe, but you'll be able to pass it quickly now. Okay. Cool, cool. 
I don't know if that means there's actually none left or... Oh, well, either way. Oh, hello, hello. This is good. We got a ring. Physical armor 3, magic 5%. I'll take it. And where might you lead? Slay through rogues, find source of... Oh, interesting. Okay. So there's the other two places we need for that. I'm curious about that. Uh, we'll make sure we finish kind of clearing anything here. Anything we can find. Like that. 20. Oh, we swimming in cash. Got a fair bit to sell. Uh, stick, you can go on ground, ideally. Stick, meet up the stick. Yeah, that area's not that big, but it was filled with a lot of stuff. Did we check that? Yeah, we did, yeah, because we came up here, you're right. I do feel the need to double check. Did I not? Oh no, yeah, no, we did. I remember now. Uh, alright, we have a couple of these little buildings. Go to this one first. This is just near the start, I just didn't go in here. Crystals, yes please. Bricks, I'll, I'll pass on the bricks. Living tool, yes please. Oh, there's still a rogue. Saw you. We're looping around. Where else didn't we go? Oh, there's, no, there's a few around. Let's start some shit. Why not? It's all XP to me. And I don't want to get overconfident because we are in torment, but you know. Mostly all good. Man, Artillery's definitely been like a really good addition. And especially like if we're facing multiple and they get a uh, haste and you can poison both, like so good. Oi. Don't do that. Nice. Jump. Hello. Where did you come from? Can I jump over that? Yeah, apparently I can. Nice. Oh, hi there. How are you? You ain't getting tax speech, nice. Didn't know if they're like infinitely spawning or something, like. Or there was more around. Yeah, 400 XP to go, hell yeah. Hmm. There's two like that here, huh? Wherever that other one was. Yeah, there's a door there. Um, yeah, I feel like we're better off to just lay ourselves level up. One more in mechanics. Next level, I'm just going to do one more in mechanics. That's all I want to do for it. We, we need to invest in other things, obviously. I don't know where these are coming from. I mean, it must be near the last of them. Like, cause they couldn't be infinitely spawning because we get an XP for them. I mean, if they did, that'd be pretty nice. Oh my god, hello. Where are you coming from? As long as I'm getting XP from- oh. Buddy. Buddy, you're doing so well today. Oh, 
Ooh, that was, uh... That was rough. Haste? Yes. I'd be doing that. Bully and Attila. Nice. You guys good? It, yeah, I have no idea. This seems like a really surprising amount of them. Hmm. Alright, let's jump back and, uh... I think this area's clear until we get a level up. Um, we might go get the salt weed or just check that area out. Because that might be an easy quest to get some XP. Maybe. It would still be kind of terrible. This forest has the mix of twisted malformed trees and cacti you've gotten used to around Dry Peak. As you walk down this path, the forest changes. It grows very still and cold. Your alerts to share your senses detect that you're being watched. Every once in a while, a small creation scuttles through the underbrush. It pokes its head out, looks at you, and runs away. You suspect that, that there is a shaper nearby, and that the shaper knows you're coming. Oh. Okay. Sharon's grave. All who wish to learn are welcome. Ignorant intruders are destroyed. Okay. Sharon's grave. I, I guess that is a place. This is, okay. Like it's called a grove. Grow. Oh my god, my brain. Does not say grave. It says grove. My bad. Moving on. Oh, hello, you terrible, terrible. Oh, friendly village? As you walk down the path, the creation startles you are moving in the view just ahead. A tough one, dangerous enough to give even a shave of pause. You relax, you reflexively adopt a ready stance, prepared to defend yourself if necessary. Fortunately, the creation is neither rogue nor hostile. It seizes its patrol and inspects you briefly. Something about you convinces that you are, on an, ex you are an acceptable visitor. It silently continues its patrol. It must have a control nearby. If you do anything to annoy it, however, escaping the grove may be difficult. Okay. We cool. I I just here for some uh something. So we yeah. That's uh that's all I wanted. This is looking rather like mazy. Oh okay. Where do you go? Oh, it's right. It's another way to there. I see. Oh, I didn't mean to actually move. Oh, apparently that's green now. Okay. Just from, like, popping in. A bit weird. Uh, where are we going? Are they friendly? I guess the grove's kind of safe because of all them. Just not if you do something against them. I don't know what we do, but... Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, they, they're all like, joining in. Oh. Crazy. Because I don't really want to fight them. Rats, no, oh. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'll deal with it, it's cool. Me being this close, why have I done that? That is terrible. Uh... Oh, that's not good either. Hmm. I probably should heal myself to play it extra safe. Okay. Fuck. Dang. First of the... First of the episode. Oh, dang. Okay. Okay, we got back to, uh, here. Apparently I didn't quite hit, uh, before that fight. That was not smart of me, I will say. Let's see what's going on up here. Okay, they just patrolled there. Okay. Not 
like not a lot to explore here, just a lot of cactus. Which is nice in its own way. Oh, that connects to the mines as well, that's interesting. Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, that's green now, huh? Does green occur just when you find like all the entrances and exits or something? Because that was still red until we popped in from there. So I, I couldn't remember how they worked with that. Huh. There's a lot of cactus here. I can't imagine how long it would take to grow for walls. Doesn't seem like the best idea. I suppose it's kind of cheap and effective-ish. There is a large stone home out here in the woods. It is an impressive structure, solidly built from blocks of granite. It has been here for quite a few years. There is a small well tender garden in the grove, both producing herbs and vegetables. There are also cages, drying racks, and huge skulls brought here for study. A lone chair has been placed in front of the garden. Someone spends a lot of time sitting out there watching the plants grow. Oh, I guess, I guess that works. I mean, if you like the cactus and other cactus, <laughs> sure. Also, yeah, those are some big skulls. Hmm. Okay. I do want that, and that, otherwise, I think I'm good, maybe, welcome Shaper, hello Sharon, you do exist, level 18, oh my god, never fighting you ever, <laughs> well, hopefully we don't need to obviously, hello, Wait, where did we go? Where did we get killed last time? Oh, it must have been down that way. Gotcha, gotcha. You see her. She's totally normal with this going on. Got some uh, bullish cars, level 15. Oh my god. Would not want to try and fight her. Hello, hello. I uh, decided to stop there. I realized that as I was getting into the recording that I was way more tired when I started than I realized. So, yeah, I thought I should take a break. It is now the next morning for me. I'm continuing on. But if I'm a little bit different, that is because I've actually had some sleep. And, uh, yeah. Oh, also, before I forget, uh, Xerox or Xerox, uh, I did see your comment. Uh, you mentioned to talk to people again now that I've increased my leadership for new options, so I will do that. That is, uh, I hadn't actually thought about that, so I'm really glad you commented that. Thank you. Because, yeah, I didn't think about, like, new stuff popping up from people we've already talked to, yeah. And I think you also did confirm about, uh, yeah, Guard of the Mines. Uh, that Guard of the Mines we tried to talk to, yeah, my leadership definitely wasn't enough, so... I am curious about that, um... Because she still has that dialogue option, as we've seen. So... I do wonder if we get high enough leadership, if she'll still walk around the mines, or come out of the mines with us, or... Yeah, I'm not sure, but, um... Yeah, I feel like that kind of reinforces that we are going to want to level up our leadership. It definitely seems worth it. Um, so it's an awkward balance, because, you know... Oh, sorry, I'm getting hiccups. Um, yeah, it's an awkward balance, but... I, I think it's ultimately worth it. I guess I just feel weird about... Like, especially being at low level, it seems really worth it. It's just hard not to want to invest into things that are going to directly impact combat. Which, to be fair, I guess it slightly does with the control. But, uh, yeah. Uh, you also did confirm that, yeah, shaping skills reduce the number of the control for uh, all creations. Which, uh, that seemed weird to me. Uh, but I, I guess it's like, you're improving your shaping in general, so it uh, impacts all of them, even though... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, wait. Does it, uh... Each point increase to the level of all your battle crush points? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe, I feel like maybe this should... Uh... Be more descriptive, maybe? It would help? 
Because it wouldn't surprise me if I missed something, but yeah, it doesn't reference anything about your other creations, so that's really nice to know. Um, like, that's really, really nice. Like, that's super useful, obviously. Um, but I feel like maybe it should be noted there, like, I don't know, maybe it's noted somewhere else and I'm just unaware, but... Still, that is, uh, that is very good to know. And, uh, what else did you say? You said, uh, you should get more levels first so the control level decreases, then get more points into shaping and creating creatures if you want to have high control. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, yeah. Yeah, because kind of, I guess it's kind of mixed one of that, isn't it? Like I said, like, you can invest into these, making them stronger, but double-edged sword in a sense, because, uh, it's a bit of a balance with control, especially at lower levels, so... It could really be that we are better off at least for a couple levels, focusing on, like, leadership, um, maybe mental magic, so we can, like, you know, for the sake of, uh, debuffs and stuff, like, kind of focus on that stuff, uh, mixed with these, and then, like, in a few levels, wrap back around to really investing in these, maybe. But, uh, yeah, just want to, uh, cover that. I appreciate the comments. We'll, uh, go chat with Sharon. Uh, we did check the ground, right? No goodies around. That's just down there. Did we? We did check, didn't we? I don't know where we've looked. Any, oh, let's go down here before we go in. I just want to see what's going on. I mm, think I'm good on buckets. Oh, they're actually kind of stealing the mushrooms. I see. Not willing to share your mushrooms, huh? I see how it is. Anything concerning down here? The smell of rot is heavy in the air. There are two trash dumps back here. One is for garbage and one is for body parts of deceased creations and failed experiments. Ah! Well, that's not good. This is good. This is XP. My favorite. Oh, also, I was thinking the fuel is in better control now. We could add the cone back, but. We don't have a lot of spare essence though, so... Yeah. Oh, you little shit. Oh my. I was thinking this rat was taking a lot of damage. It's level 7. Okay, and yeah. Sorry, Thad. I misclicked with you. It's not your fault, bud. That stun's nice though. Hmm. I almost feel like we should daze them. Because their health isn't crazy, but I'm kind of worried about their bite. Yeah, let's play that safe. Yeah, that works. One at a time. Okay, you guys fight. I need, I need some coffee. No, I gotta do that. I see how it is. I see. Okay, you're making up for it with some haste. I respect that. Oh, yeah, 28 XP. That's nice. That, is, that rat gave us more XP than that, uh, well, that one of the three rogues we killed that gave us 26. Uh. Alright, let's deal with you next. This is why days are so good, like, it is... And this applies for a lot of spiderweb software games, because it's the same in, like, uh, Avedon. Like, days, mm, it's the best. It's just, it's such a simple, like, thing. It's so powerful. So helpful. What are you got? Uh, scav, uh, scavling scavenger. Have some more poison, bud. Okay, you miss, but your haste. I appreciate that. Oh, stun. Yes, please. Those stuns seem to have really high success rate. It's nice. Ah, let less so for me, huh? Beautiful. That went really well. And that was some mm 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 XP. <laughs> I just love me some XP. Oh, we got thorn bushes. Some boots. We could use some new boots. I've probably sold a number of boots we could have worn. I, I get caught up in the, the money. Probably shouldn't stand in that green stuff for too long, but... Other than that, good stuff. What do we got here? Saltweed. Huh. Alright. 
I guess we didn't need Sharon. <laughs> that was what we wanted, right? Yeah. She said someone named Sharon had some for her. I already got some, but I'll take more. Wait, does it have value? Oh, oh I'll definitely take more. It's got 250 value. Hell yeah. It's like eight of those crystals. Sharon, my dear, let us talk. We can be besties. Oh, can we get over there? Or? Hmm. This area is there. Is this the whole... Wait, have we explored everywhere? Uh... It looks like it. It's weird having that over there. That makes me... Like, what is... It? Those look like something. Hmm. Oh. Oh my god. Level 18. Brain rat. You got big brains, huh? How the hell do you get there? That's... That's a curious one. Hmm. That's... Uh, okay. I don't know what to make of that. Hmm. I guess I could come up with her. Otherwise, that feels like something that's maybe worth a note. Also, where did you get my robe? Not cool, man. Ma'am. Shanti has been here, huh? The question is... Do you have any free things available? Stay, oh. Stay out of your chambers, huh? You meet the mistress of this grove. She is a shaper as expected. She is old and thin, and her movements are slow and deliberate. Her traditional robes have been worn threadbare by her many years in this remote thicket. She has, to, she has a look of peace and calm unusual in your kind. Strangely, strangely, living in this cold, hostile place seems to have made her very calm and happy. She smiles as she approaches you. It's very strange. Welcome, young traveler. I am Sharon. I have been expecting your visit. Your teacher Shanti has already been to see me, and I have been hoping you were soon to follow. Okay. How long have you been living out here? Many years. I was once a traveling shaper like you, moving from place to place, trying to make a name. I helped establish settlements. I made life to settle barren lands. I put down uprisings. All the usual struggles. Then I came here. Did you come here to help settle this area? No, I came here to hide. I had done enough. I wanted to live in peace, to stop traveling, to read, to think, to live a quiet life. That is not something that ever happens. Once you become a shaper, you are bound by shaper law and and the dictates of the shaper council for life. It is the price paid for such power and status. Sharon is revealing a lot by telling you that she is fled from the shapers. Yeah, that's a... Uh, okay. Hmm. Did you escape the... How did you escape the council's notice? It was easier than you might think. I asked the Shaper Council for a difficult task, one that would take me far away. They were eager to oblige. I traveled, I did the job, then I simply did not return. I just wandered off. I imagine I was just lost in their paperwork. <laughs> huh. I mean, yeah, because I mean, they, not just that, I mean, if you went for a difficult task and you didn't come back, I mean, you can be presumed dead pretty easy, I assume. Hmm. Okay. Was Shaper Zachary here when you came? No, my pre my arrival predated his by a full decade. I have never spoken with him. I've had no business. On the rare times when he wanted to make contact, he sent a runner. Okay. You've never made any new creations to settle these peaks? No, I think my fellow Shapers have already done enough damage to this land. Why did you leave the Shapers? The way became too much for me. To be a Shaper is to research, yes, but it is also to rule. I wanted to learn and create. I didn't want to enforce laws. I didn't want to punish the guilty. It warned me. Why do you tell me this? Are you afraid the council will find and punish you? She laughs. You came here, yes? The council has already found me. Now that they are sending scouts here, I'll be found. I'll accept it. Maybe in return for the things I have learned, they will not punish me so harshly. Hmm. You should be punished. Shapers cannot afford to let their powers out of, <laughs> powers out of their control. <laughs> nah, I don't care. It's fine. You do you. I hope you're not punished harshly, or you want to wish your freedom. 
I do not know what I deserve. Our powers are great and they come with responsibility. The Shaper Council is right to control them tightly. I'm glad that at last the decision is out of my hands. I mean, it's not like she's being a threat or anything. Like, the power is not out of their hands in a sense. I mean, it's, you know, yeah, it's kind of a mixed one, I guess. But, uh, you know, even though, like, obviously I probably have a lot of disagreements with the council, there is that element where you can't just dismiss where they're coming from, right? Like, Shaper powers are obviously pretty insane. Um, like, servos may not be smart, but you can create, you're creating sentient life from goop or essence, basically, like, you know, so... It's some pretty crazy stuff. Sheba Shrom prides you with tea as you talk. Occasionally, she checks on the Valicious just outside the door, making sure that her grove is no intruders. What else would you like, Shaper? Time is short and the dangers are many. Uh, how long have you been living out here? Uh, did we? That was what we went through, right? Oh. Okay. Uh, what can you tell me about this area? The mines are to the north. There have been a lot of rogues coming from the south. I have not been paying much attention to that. I have been doing my work. What does interest me though, and Shanti shares my interest, is the higher peaks to the northwest. And what's the northwest? Rogues. Much more dangerous rogues than the one that have been attacking Dry Peak. I have sent my own creations to scout there. I have found that they are guarding a tunnel in the remotest section of their valley. I would like very much to know what is through that tunnel. I think someone should explore up there. I could go to the, exp I could go to the tunnel explorer for you. Yes, that'd be very helpful. And if you did, I would aid you for your help. The tunnel is to the northwest. See if you can find out what is on the other side. I would aid you for your help. Hmm. What are, what are we talking? Cash? I like cash. Uh, what do you know about the high peaks? The shapers have spent centuries trying to make crops and livestock that can thrive up there. Their failed experiments were tested and dumped in the high valleys. I never went up there because I was told that it was dangerous, useless waste. Maybe I was misled. Do you know anything about the tunnel? No, it is on the far side of the salt marsh. I have only been to the entrance of it and that was years ago. No serious shaper work has taken place up there since before I came here. And again, perhaps more recent arrivals have been working up there and I never found it. Found out. Hmm, okay. What sort of research are you doing here? Shaping, of course. The gift of shaping cannot be resisted once it has been given to you. I have been following my own path. I have been researching the old history of the Shapers, seeing if any valuable techniques had been learned then lost. I have also been trying to learn how to better fuse shaped creatures and physical objects. I have made interesting discoveries in that area. Okay. What have you learned about the old ways of the Shapers? Not much. It is difficult to get interesting books out here, and I, well, you would probably not be of much of assistance in this area. You can create magical items? I can, but it is a long involved process. Perhaps you can come back if you find the need to stay in these mountains for some time. Hmm. Shanti and I were sent here to complete a mission. Agent Shanti already told me. Question Shaper Zachary and Barzal. Evaluate the colony. I wish to help if I can. Also, Shanti has something to say about you, if you are interested. You met Shanti? She came out here? Yes, she was able to slip away from Dry Peak to look around. It did not take her long to sense me. She is wise. I like her. She does not approve of my hiding from the Shaper Council here, and I suspect that she will not keep my secret, but I do believe that she is fighting to do good, and I admire that. Hmm. Okay. I could see that. I'm trying to learn about a Shaper near Bazaar. Can you help me? I only met that Shaper when we first arrived with Zachary. When he first arrived with Zachary. I don't know what work he did. Eventually I heard he was dead. I don't know more. Someone named Alili said that you had some salt weed for me. Alright, oh, names. I'm going with Alili. No idea what I said the first time. Someone named Alili said that you had some salt weed for her. Alili? Who? I suppose I might have some salt weed somewhere. I thought I saw some growing in my garbage dump. Uh, I, I, wait, wait a second. Okay, so that. Oh, okay, on one hand, sounds like I'm not getting any more. On the other, shouldn't we kind of follow up on this? I mean, that's that's immediately kind of suspicious, no? Hmm. Okay. What did Shani say about me? To be sure, you are Mana, yes? Uh, yeah, I'm Mana. 
Shantani told, Shanti told me that her current apprentice, you, had great potential. She has been challenging you relentlessly and you've met her expectations. I fear you have a difficult path ahead. I thought it would be... I thought it... I, th I thought it would give you a boost to hear what she said. Ah, that's nice. I appreciate it. Oh, that went a... Uh, yeah, as a shaper, I ask you for aid. What assistance can you give me? I am not a full shaper anymore. I will aid you, but I will not give you everything I have gathered here. Feel free to explore my home. Leave what you find, except you may take items in the vats in my laboratory. Just stay out of my private chambers. I will not tolerate intrusion there. Sometimes I think I left the chambers because I could no longer tolerate the loss of privacy I had with them. The total lack of any core to truly call my own. Now that I have that, I will not lose it. Well, that's fair, that's fair. But about this, uh, Alili? I feel like we should kind of talk about that one. I'm hoping it's your old age and you're forgetting, but that, that, that seems a bit too simple. Hmm. For real. Alili is an alchemist in Dry Peak. She would like for you to do some salt weed for her to make her ha more haste pods. She said that someone named Sharon had some for her. Like, this thing, like, it's not just that she said, you know, hey, like, they may have some. It's like, she, she specifically said that Sharon would have some for her. I don't, I... <laughs> I feel like that's quite concerning. Wait, what? Sharon's ring. Shaper Sharon lives in a grove northwest of Dry Peak, where she engages in a wide variety of magical experiments. She wanted help with one of them. She seems to have an experiment she wants to try, but she wasn't ready to tell you the details yet. Oh. Oh, when she said, like, I wouldn't be much help with that when we talk, like, mentioned about not finding books and stuff. Was that that? I didn't realize that would initiate a quest. Hmm. I wonder if that's like a leadership thing too. Like, I guess that could also be a level thing or something else. Huh. All right. Now you want me to stay out of your private quarters, but I, d I don't have any door labels, so I'm not sure how to go about that. So, okay, I'm just going to need to close this door for a minute. Uh, okay. I need to fix this bag. Okay, much better, much better. I'm going to just need to borrow this, and this, and this, and... That doesn't have any value. Oh, okay, I'm good on ink pots. I do want the dice, though. Add to my collection. You flip through the book. You don't understand a word of it. It's at least a few centuries old and written in an entirely foreign dialect. It's strange though. The sketches and notes depict something that looks like a fiora. It seems like a book on shaping written by a foreign people in a foreign land. This should be impossible. When you touch the book, your fingers receive a sharp shock. The energy travels up and down your arm, paralyzing it. Sharon is determined to protect her notes. Happily, you eventually regain use of your arm. Nice. I... I am a big fan of my arm. I'm guessing that might be her quarters. That takes seven to unlock. That's rough. Bread. Oh, I'll take some bread. I'm all about the bread. I'll take that. Oh, teapot. Yes, please. Uh, probably good on plants. Gold goblet. Hmm. Oh, hello. How's it going? What's up? I'm just going to close the door. Oh, yes, please. Shackles. I'm, I'm good on shackles. Thanks, though. Discipline wand. Ability days. Huh. Shielding pod. Oh, yes. Um, door is locked. Oh, I wonder why it doesn't pop up the same. You don't have the key and you don't have enough living tools to get open. You need 22. Oh my God. 
Oh, maybe it only pops up like that when you have enough. Uh. Okay, she said I could, like, look all around, like, except her private quarters. There's three doors I can't get into. <laughs> Okay, potentially those are connected. Hmm. And are you... Oh my. Level 15 with 184 health. Huh. I see. Um. I am curious because I don't like... So this needs three. I don't know if they react. This is going to be partly a test. We may reload on this. Why couldn't I come in here? We may do a reload if this isn't worth it. Eh. Oh, madness jam. That looks fancy. Sapphire, Topaz, shielding knife. Hmm. Two living tools, huh? Wait, what did it cost us? I thought we had 12. Wait. Oh, I, I must have missed saw what I... Okay, all good. Okay, so we're only losing two... Well, I'll write with that. I was confused when I had eight. Don't mind me. Ah... Uh, I'm going to jump back, I think, for now. Because this could be one of those cases where, like, we end up doing something for her and it's a reward. So. That does happen from time to time. But that doesn't mean curiosity. Can't be a, you know. Oh, seven. Okay, we're going to probably load. Ah. Whoopsie. Yep, so it uh, turns out she takes her privacy quite seriously. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, yeah. Is there anything more about the research stuff? Yeah, so I guess it was that that did uh, no, um, open up the quest. Not much. It did would get interesting books here. And I, well, you'd probably not be much of assistance in this area. Yeah, I could see that being like a level one. Uh, it could be like a leadership thing, but... Yeah, I could see that maybe being a level thing. Super curious about this, though. Hmm. Wait, which way do we come from? I don't know where this goes. Because it could be like another entrance here from another area to just that little spot or something. I guess we're done here for now, aren't we? Yeah. I guess we'll deliver the salt weed, though I'm suspicious. Uh. Oh, so that brings us up to here. Hmm, okay. So, we still need to do... Right, it's, it's confusing that they've gone green, right? Because we haven't been to the Western Mines or the Crags, but they both went green when we popped in. Okay. Um... Well, we'll jump back to town. Uh, let's go see the alchemist, who I'm very suspicious of. That would be you. Ellie Lee stares at you intently, only looking away to tend her bubbling concoctions. She has no doubt trying to figure out how she can use you to escape from dry pee. Oh, wait, what? She is no doubt trying to figure out how she can use you to escape from Dry Peak. Oh, that's a... Okay. I don't remember our conversation, apparently. I was such a fool. I heard this was an up-and-coming colony. So I came here and found a sandy backwater. I hate it here. I long for a life in the city. And the moment these rogues are gone and safe travel, I'm out of here. All right, okay. I remember you now. Uh, yeah, I found some salt way, I guess. Excellent. Now I have something to do to fill the hours during my meaningless, horrible existence here. You select several gourds from the carpet nearby and hands them to you. 
Here are three pods. You can use them in your adventures. Nice. Um. Say, is there anything else you're looking for? Come to think, yes, I completely forgot. I could really use some wiry moss. It's rare stuff, but I would pay even better if you're able to find it. Where should I look? It usually grows in very dry forest. This makes it difficult to find. The forest has to be moist enough to survive, but dry enough to sustain the wiry moss. It's a delicate balance. Perhaps you'll find some in the high hardy woods of these mountains. Ooh, 140 XP, nice. Get wiry moss. I don't know, I, I wonder if like we're like bringing her stuff that's gonna do something bad. Not sure. Oh, we are very close to leveling up. I was also thinking, I wonder if that uh, smart servile situation could be leadership related. I could definitely see that. Alright guys, well, I think we'll actually wrap it up here for this one. Uh, feels a little weird because the stop and start for me it doesn't feel like I've been playing for very long. Uh, but I think the video is probably going to be around hour 10 or so at this point, so... Yeah, probably best to uh, stop here, I think, because we cleared two areas, and if I start a new one, who, who knows how long that's gonna gonna go. Um, I'm not sure where we're going next, honestly. I I think we'll probably just focus on the three rogues thing, maybe. So yeah, we might go for the crags and then infest the woods or something. Because you don't have a reason to go to the mines yet, though. I'm sure there'll be something come up. Uh, we're also very close to leveling up, so as soon as we get that, yeah, we'll add some leadership. And after, yeah, because we have a little bit more now, but I think we'll wait to the next level. We'll bump that up. And then, yeah, we'll try at the mines, the guards, see if that does anything. And then I'll basically, I think, just do like a quick zip around all of town and all of the Warren. Talking to people again to see if anything comes up. And then I can just, you know, cut the video in if there is anything interesting. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we got the, uh, we got the dry peaks, dry peak fields cleared. We got the, uh... We got Sharon's Grove cleared, which, you know, that wasn't anything too crazy, but still, you know, it's good. We're making progress. We're uh, managing to survive, minus all the deaths, but don't worry about that. And yeah, I know, I'm, just, I'm just really enjoying this, you know, it's really good. Liking the setup. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure, like, how things are going to go, like, because a big theme usually in spiderweb software games is factions and choosing one of them. Uh, sometimes you don't choose any, sometimes you, there's thing, but it's generally, there is often a theme of different factions, um, and, and I'm assuming it's going to be like that in this, but I don't, I really don't know what that's going to look like at this point. I'm assuming Zachary here is going to be one of them, and definitely a possibility that Bazal could be another then, if he's alive, that could, uh, be something like that, but... Yeah, I, I really don't know what to expect. I mean, we've, uh, what have we cleared? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven zones. We've popped our head into two other. And there's about 90, so we have a very, very long way to go. But said, I'm really enjoying it. And yeah, just thank you guys very much for watching. I, I hope you're enjoying. And I will, uh, I will have part up five as soon as possible. So yeah, just uh, be well. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the show today. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.